Welcome back to the second video uh, of my tutorial series on the AutoDrive mod. And in this video I want to show you how to record new routes on an existing uh, or edit to an existing road network and all the settings required or optional to do this. Okay, so once again the basics, pressing left alt numpad 0 to open up your HUD. Okay, here we have the AutoDrive HUD. And now press the edit mode because we want to edit the road network. And if you are in this edit network, you can see all the recorded uh, roads already. And if I scroll a bit closer here, you can see there is a red line going from my vehicle, from my current vehicle, to the closest waypoint over here. So if I'm going to drive over there, it's switching to the next waypoint. Okay, so this is already show or always showing me the, the closest waypoint. Now, uh, there's also a settings menu and the settings menu you open up by also click pressing the left control key and then the left alt key and number zero and this is the auto drive settings menu and all the other settings i will explain later but for now the interesting ones are these two here for the recording so there's an auto connect start uh, option and an auto connect end option and for now i'm going to select both so auto connect end yes auto connect start yes and what auto connect start means if i'm going to start recording it's automatically connecting the closest waypoint so in this case this one over here to the first recorded waypoint so how do i record waypoints first of all you can open the uh, enable the mouse cursor with the middle mouse button again and now you want to press on the record button and as soon as you hit the record button, it's going to create a first waypoint right on your driver's location. So it's going to turn red. As you can see, it's already switching exactly to a waypoint here. And this waypoint is already connected to the previously closest waypoint. This is because we have the auto connect start feature enabled. Now let's just start record away. And as you can see, there's one missing here on the left. So I'm just going to drive along, along this path here. And it doesn't matter how fast you're going while you are recording. The driver who will drive this uh, road later will uh, auto adjust the speed depending on either the maximum speed setting selected over here or depending on the angle of the, of the turns here. Okay, now here on this end we have to make a bit slower because now we want to make sure that we connect this properly. So, for starters, I want this connected over here because this is going straight. So I'm just stopping over there. Okay, and now if you press the record button again it's going to switch to the next recording mode and the next recording mode is going to record in uh, two directions. So currently we are recording in one direction, which you can see here with the green arrows marked. There's always a direction associated with, with, each, uh, yeah, with each spline here. And then it's turning uh, pink here. And if you press it again, it's auto connected the endpoint. This is again because we have this auto connect end feature, yes, enabled, and he just looked for a suitable location. And as you can see here, it auto connected our last waypoint, our last recorded waypoint over here. Perfect. This is what we want. Now we only have this straight line here connected, but we also want this driver coming from here able to turn left and right as well so let's head back uh, just over here again make sure that your currently closest waypoint is the one you want this recording to be connected to hit record and go over here now again you can just stop anywhere and it's going to auto connect the endpoint over here and if this is this connection is not what you want, you can just manually disable it again. 
So let me show you how to do this. Let's just drive close to this waypoint over here. So make sure this one is connected. And then you can select select next neighbor uh, select neighbor point and it's going to add a yellow line. And this yellow line is currently connected to the closest uh, the second closest waypoint over here. And then you can cycle through and it's going to cycle through by the current distance the vehicle. So cycle through here with this button and I want to cycle through until I'm exactly over here. So now I have basically the connection, the auto connect feature here at the end created. And if this is not the connection I want, I can just toggle connection and it disappears again. And if I, for example, want this to be connected to the bay point very close here to the, so over here, I can just connect it over here. Okay. So again, this toggle connection always works by toggling the connection from the closest waypoint, so the red line, to the yellow line and not the other way around. Okay. But I think the auto connect feature actually chose the best point here. So I'm just going back there. All right. Select next neighbor, uh, select neighbor point again. So I have disabled the re uh, this yellow line here. And now the only thing missing here is turning right. Again, I'm starting over here. I have to make sure that the closest waypoint is actually on this straight line here. So like this, hit record. And I have to go right over here. Stop recording. And let's see if the connection is fine. Yeah, that's fine. And now every time I recorded a new route, I have to update or recalculate the new ways. So for example, if I'm not, if I would try to start on this road and try to go anywhere, for example, the central grain elevator, and I would start the auto drive driver by clicking on enable, it will say he can't reach cr central grain elevator. Although we have everything connected, we uh, the auto drive network doesn't have a concept of this of this road so you have to update the ways and now it's recalculating so this takes a few seconds depending on how many waypoints you already have and how many destinations you have on the map and now it's finished and if i start it now he knows how to get there so this is an important step always remember to do this after recording new routes or uh, recording new destinations Okay, let's just stop the driver right here. And what I like to do is, if you for example have this, uh, bought this field here, over here, which one is it? Field nine. And you want your drivers to be able to get there autonomously. So, what I usually do here is make a little branch basically over here. So start recording over here. and basically create a parking position over here. So let's stop over here and then you can click on create new target. It's basically auto filling with the current waypoint number, which is 8,305 over here, but you can just start typing. So this is field, field nine, right? So then uh, basically you can stop with the, with the return key Okay, now you see here we have a new destination, field 9, and we still have to connect it to the network, like this. S stop recording, as you can see it's connected, and again, update ways. Okay, it's recalculating, and as soon as it's finished, I'm going to try if this works. So let's just add back a few meters here. And then I'm going to enable it and say he's supposed to go to field 9. And as you can see here, he's going to find its way to field 9. And this is how you can create new destinations. But I can order, uh, could also start it from over here to field 9. 
and he will find some way it's obviously going to be a long way because he has to go all the way around the other fields but he will find its way to field 9 from over here okay so what you can also do is if you want to not use the auto connect feature just disable it and if I'm going to start recording away now oh, this is steep over here bad example well anyhow as you can see here he's starting to record and he did not auto connect the newly recorded route so you can also do this now if you stop recording you will also not auto connect this endpoint and if you made a mistake and you want to delete a recorded uh, route you can use this button over here so delete waypoint is going to delete the latest waypoints so I just drive along this record here and I'm just going to delete carefully only the points of this network and here you have to be careful here is also a waypoint so as long as this red line here is showing to something there is a waypoint here left it's just not connected to anything so delete this as well all right so now I've shown you all the ways to record new routes record new destinations and update the ways okay and that's it for this video thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next tutorial video goodbye